one of the things I really care about is uh, the proliferation of junk science in the, in the courtroom. Um, and um, you all saw uh, Dwayne Deaver uh, and what he did in the, in the trial uh, and what ended up happening. So I don't want to talk about that because you've all watched that already. But there's, there's another expert, so-called expert, who testified in the trial who no one's ever seen uh, before. Uh, his name was Sammy Shabani. And, and Sammy Shabani uh, talked with a really crisp British accent, so he had to tell the truth. Um, um, you can't lie with a British accent. Um, and he claimed to have been educated at um, Oxford, of course. Uh, he claimed to be an expert in physics and mechanical engineering. Uh, and uh, he also claimed to be on the faculty as a clinical professor of physics and engineering at Temple University in Philadelphia. Uh, and so, you know, we had this voir dire, uh, and he was qualified because he testified about all these credentials. Um, but I had done some research on him. It was last minute because we didn't have a lot of notice. And I turned up some stuff that was just a little bizarre about him. Um, and so uh, I ended up getting a hold of somebody at Temple, a, a lawyer friend of mine, and they sent me the faculty um, handbook, you know, the, and, and his name wasn't in there. Um, and, uh, and so I started digging a little bit more. Uh, and so uh, the clip you're about to see is a portion uh, of my cross-examination of Sammy Shabani with regard to uh, his, uh, his methodology. Now, you were also consulted with a case in Eagle Riverville, Wisconsin. Is that right? Answer, yes, ma'am. Question, that was a case where somebody was found dead with her head in a toilet bowl. Answer, that's what the husband claims, yes, ma'am. Now, in fact, in that case, the woman also had a significant amount of drugs on board, didn't she? Which we believe the husband had administered to her, yes, sir. I'm not asking you what you believed about the husband. I'm asking you whether or not the woman had a significant amount of drugs in her system. Yes, sir. Question, and you went there and you put heads in, put actual heads in toilets, is that right? Answer, as part of my scientific research... I found three volunteers, that word may be used loosely here, for four hours I put their heads into the actual toilet bowl where the husband claims to have found his wife because science dictates that you compare apples with apples. The women volunteers were the same height and the same weight as the dead woman. And I wanted to see if it was physically possible for a woman of that height and that weight with that actual toilet to commit suicide by drowning or to drown accidentally. And the science says, no, you can't. Question. And the science was putting the heads in the toilet? Is that right? Answer. No, that was part of it. I asked these women... Put your head in the toilet and see if you can drown yourself, and I'll try and fish you out before you succeed. But they never got close. They just simply couldn't do it. The laws of physics didn't allow them to drown themselves. Was that your testimony? Yes, sir. Is that what you consider to be even a part of science? Of course. You can't make this stuff up, right? The judge then struck his testimony and instructed the jury to disregard his direct. Sammy then walked out of the courtroom. He was never prosecuted for his perjury. Um, and indeed, a couple years later, as a result of that testimony and some other things that we had uncovered, uh, there was a uh, defendant in Wisconsin, I believe it was, who had been convicted uh, based on Sammy's expert testimony. 
and I contacted the lawyer in that case who was doing the post-conviction work, and that particular defendant, their conviction was overturned as well. So, um, oh, thank you.